It's okay. Whatever you have is okay. Whatever. Okay. Okay. So I'm going okay. to use the, the best way that I can with the cauliflower to get it done. All right. Uh huh. Um, I always I leave the plastic on there. And I cut around the bottom. You Leave the, the plastic on. You see the bottom core? Let me show you this. The core uh -huh. right here. So let me let me show you with a, a knife. You put it on the type of knife you want. I use a little, I use like a chef knife, or you can use a little paring knife, whichever one you feel comfortable with, a chef knife or a paring knife. And then uh -huh. let me show you this. I don't know if you can still see. I can see. Cut around the, the core like that. That way, all the mess is still in the plastic. In the restaurant, I would use a big cleaver, but I don't have enough room right here. So just cut around all these little pieces inside the plastic. That way, it'll stay in it. OK. Well, I already took, I'm, I need to start just waiting until you do, because I already took it off. So I'm going to have the best. That's I okay. think you just get excited. It's OK. <laughs> you don't know how to cook, but I think you know how to cook a little bit. Then I just I just break the core off, and it just comes right off like that. Okay. So this is what mine looks like now. Well, take take the knife around this part of it. Just take the knife around the core of it, around all those little like limbs of the the, uh, the uh -huh. leaves, the cauliflower leaves. Uh huh. So take all that off, cut around that. Yeah, and it should just come right off. Okay. Yes, perfect. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, put the cauliflower in cold water to rinse it off very well. Uh, uh, let me, so you're ahead of me. Slow down. Look, what, come here. Come here one second, ma'am. I'm just throwing away my trash. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> see, mine's is, I'm trying to, I want to show you the best way. See, mine's are like break, breakables now. Uh huh. So you want to get them all like about this size, like bite-sized pieces, because we're okay. gonna soak them, then we're gonna cook them. But that's why you don't need a big pot because they're all broken down. Okay. I like that. Okay. So I'm gonna put it in this little container, and we're gonna rinse them off, and then we're gonna get the uh, broth hot. And I'll take off all the extra stuff that I don't need. I don't need all everything on it. And I always wash everything off with a little salt water. And while it's doing that, we we'll get the water hot. Then we we'll just throw it in there. This is not really the way I cut. I use my cutting board, but how you doing? Let me see what you got going on there. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> you try to act like you don't know what you're doing. I know. I know. I have never cooked this in my life. Well, you don't see any black spots on there, do you? Uh-uh. It looks pretty good. Okay, because if you ever see any black spots, try not to buy it. And if you do, just cut it off. Sometimes okay. I can hold mine too long in my fridge because my, you know, my stomach is kind of small and I have to get to cook it up. So all the little extra stuff we don't need, just want the cauliflower. And we're going to rinse it real good with a little, I use sea salt. Okay, I have sea salt. Yeah, probably like a, tape, a teaspoon of sea salt in there and then just water the cover. We're gonna let that soak and then we're gonna get the pot getting getting hot. Then we just, so all my, my stuff is in my little baggie. Even for the <laughs> ones who are gonna come back to, to view this later. <laughs> Gonna put water to cover. So you say you got chicken broth. I have vegetable broth, but broth is broth, and it's okay. I want to do what you're doing. Be right, be right there.
How we doing? You're ahead of me, but I'm good. Oh, yeah, I didn't put my salt in there. I'm covering the broth. I'm covering the flour with water. And yeah, about a tea, like about a half a teaspoon of soy salt or a teaspoon. We're just making sure there's no bugs in it and just make sure we clean it. We're using it as a cleaning agent right now. We're gonna we're gonna rinse it off. Just throw it around a little bit, let that soak. Okay. How we doing? Good. All right, so now we're gonna take <laughs> um, <laughs> Let me know when you're ready, Chef. <laughs> okay. Okay, next thing I want you to do is take two cups of broth and put it in your pot. This is where a lot of people go wrong is they waterlog the, the cauliflower. We don't want to do that. And my thing with eating healthy is if it doesn't taste good, we won't eat it. You know, we like flavor. I mean, I'll make sure you can see it. I don't know why that didn't like. You put your two cups in there. Right, come on. Okay. Now, we're going to. Let me know when you're ready. That's, that's why I'm gonna do that because I don't want to. I'm ready. You got your you got your two cups of broth in the pot, getting hot, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> now, what you want to do? We're gonna take a tad of black pepper and throw in there because we want to season it. Why? Because if it has flavor, we'll eat it. It. We don't want to get bored with our food. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. And you and you have any garlic? Granular or, or, or garlic powder. Put like a tad of that in there, a pinch, whichever one. So, Coach, we have these little measuring spoons. They say a smidgen, a pinch, a dash, and a tad. So, she probably ahead of me. You ahead of me now? No, I just put my stuff in, like you said. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, these are the cutest little things, Miss Sheena. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling her that last week. She said, a smidgen, a dash. <laughs> well, I don't have that. I said, well, you'll find them. Yes. These are kind of cute. Okay, yeah. so my stove is halfway across the room, so... Your phone is? The, the stove. Yeah, we're going to have to get you a camera stand so I can really see what you're doing. I can't see what you're doing. I'm just trusting that you're telling me. Believe me, I'm following your directions. Okay, so let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and rinse off the cauliflower now. And we, we're going to get ready to put it in the pot because it's going to start uh, getting hot. You have a, let me ask you this. Do you have a, a strainer? <laughs> you have one of these? Well, I have a smaller one, but that'll it'll work. work. That'll work. I'm going to use it twice, actually. I should have sent you a, a utility list, equipment list. I'll start doing that as well. I thank you for your patience. We're learning as we're going, yeah? Yeah. I'll do better. So at this stage of the game, you can put like um, diced onions in there or, or a half an onion in there. You can put a whole uh, garlic clove in there. You can put celery in there. Just depends on how you want your mashed cauliflower to taste. For me right now, I'm fine with what I have in there. And so so mine is, is bubbling because it's getting hot. How's your pot doing? Kathy. Give me a second. I'll look. It's not boiling yet. Is it on is it on high? I didn't have it on high. Okay, let's go ahead and turn it up because we wanted to go ahead and get the cooking because 
The next thing we're going to do is the um, the zucchini fries and get them in the air fryer. And while that's going, we'll get the shrimp in the in the sink. It doesn't take it long to thaw out. Okay. You turned yours up. Uh, I'm yes, going back to make sure what where I am and what I'm saying, so I don't forget what I'm asking you to do. Um, I've got the heat turned up so that it is go ahead and start boiling. Okay. Now I, I want to show you this piece of equipment, and I I did not ask you to buy it, but I'm going to do whatever you do. So, do you have like a dicer like this? This is a dicer. No. And look, she's see the inside of it. I just want to show yeah. you. It's on Facebook. I can send you the link for next time. Okay. And then it's a smaller dicer on the inside. You can use it for eggs. You use it for onions, zucchini sticks, uh, onions. Well, I mean, so many different things you can use it for. But we're, we're going to hand cut the zucchini today, okay? Okay. All right. No problem. So my water's hot. I'm going to go ahead and throw in this. Is your water hot, your broth? It's starting to boil. Okay. So you want me to go ahead and put it in there? No, I, I wanted to get a little boil first. That way you could time it okay. better. Okay. So we're gonna take our zucchini. You got you got one zucchini? I actually bought three, but I'll use one. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through one. So I always wash mine off. Cold water. I'm, I'm a clean cook. My, my my coach called it when she first met me. You clean and healthy. I said, yeah, I eat clean. So, And I was a chef for many years. I, I washed off everything that I use because I just don't want to take for granted that it, whoever handled it last was a clean person. Okay. You ready? Yes. Okay, just yes. stay calm. Take a breather. Say, I got this. <laughs> just say, I got, I got this. this. Okay, I so... The next thing I want you to do is go ahead and put your cauliflower in the water. I'll put mine in there too. What I love about Kathy is if it's good, she starts dancing. I sure do. So we're going to rinse off the, the, the calendar, calendar because we're going to, when it comes out of there, when it gets hot, we're going to put it in a calendar and, and strain it, okay? Okay. We just want to have it ready. And then let me know when you're ready. Okay. I want to ask you if I told you to put a lid on that pot. If not, can you do that? I'm doing it right now. Awesome. Thank you for your patience. Oh, no, thank you. I'm the no. novice. Thank you, doll. You're doing okay. a great job. <laughs> Uh, so what, what we're going to do is I have this, so you always want to cut away from you. I think you know that part. Mm -hmm. Always cut away from you so you don't cut yourself. So we're going to cut the tip of it off of the zucchini on both ends. Cut the tips off. And we're going to go ahead and cut it in half so we can make it more manageable. Long ways. Or half? Half short ways, like oh, this. Short. Okay. Okay. Okay, now we're going to move one out of the way, and I just want to show you a few things. Okay, so we're going to stand it up like this. Cut it down the middle. Turn it. Cut it down the middle. Now, that's in fours. Are you uh -huh. Half again, so that it's in eighth. I hope I'm counting correctly here. That's eighth, which is a good fry size. Okay. We're going to do ace, okay? So go, ahead, go ahead and do yours, and I'll finish my other half. Let me go ahead and do the other one too. Yes. Because you have two, right? 
Yes, ma'am. Go ahead and do your two then. I, I only have one. Uh, I'll wait for no, you. No, no, I meant the other half. I'm not going to do the two. I'm not. Yes, go ahead and do your other. I'll save that so I can do it one day when we're not cooking. Like I did. Yeah, I want you days. to, and when you do, I want you to take a photo and say, see what I did? Yeah, I made my green beans taste just, they tasted to me just as good as the ones in uh, Applebee's. So I don't have to go to Applebee's anymore. I can make my own garlic green beans. I, you know, I'm just that type of chef. I can go to Applebee's and try something and come home and cook it. That's what we want to do because we want to eat healthy. And my, my thing is, if it's good, we'll eat it. If it's bland and like hospital food, we're not going to eat it. Yeah. That's what I don't understand. I was happy. So the next thing I want to do, we want to get a container that we can put a lid on top that the zucchini can fit in. I, I'm going to send the list next time. I'll, I'll get on top of that. I'm going to grab an egg. This is the first Hold on just a minute, Desmond. That's my son, and I got to... Mom, yes. here, will you come and talk to your dad? Hi. Oh, Hi. Lord. Hi, Dad. Okay, bowl, then I have a lid. Okay, got it. First egg, you put the first egg in there and uh, like a quarter cup of water. You know, I use alkaline water in mine. I just like to share what I do, you know? Okay. I use alkaline water in mine. The stir it up. You use what kind of water? I just use alkaline water for my body. It just it seems to make me feel better. I deal with a lot of arthritis. It's not a proven fact or anything. It just it just works for me. Okay, I'm gonna have to try that. I want you to go and stir right. your, your cauliflower around and look at it and see how it's doing. You can okay, wait it. a minute. How much water did you say put in the egg? A quarter cup. Okay, whip it. Yeah, whip it up. It's going to be like a light, light yellow, right? Yes. Real light and loose. Okay. Okay. Let me know when you get that ready. You want me to look at the uh, cauliflower. Yeah, stir it around and see how it is and touch it. So we, we don't babysit anything, but I'm trying to teach you the consistency of how you want it to be when you know it's time to stop it. Yeah, it's not soft enough yet. Yeah, no, we just we just checking it now. We're gonna put the lid back on it and let it do what it do. And we got we still have things to do as well. Okay. Okay. So when you come back this way, we're going to put those zucchini uh, fries in the the egg mixture, and we're gonna shake it around. Put a lid on it and shake it around so it can be coated coated very well with the egg mixture. Just shake it up real good. I find that the zucchini holds flavor very well. And so that's why I didn't season the zucchini. Because once we do this almond flour and the uh, the almond flour and the uh, Parmesan cheese, it's going to flavor it very well. Okay, so now we need another container with, that a lid can fit. I hope you... I'm so okay. Oh, mother... If you get the exercise as we're stretching for things as well, yeah? <laughs> uh, yeah. So we need the olive flour, we need the Parmesan cheese, and we need the um, garlic granular, and we need the pa uh, black pepper. Okay, you said Parmesan cheese, pepper, and what else? Almond flour. Almond flour. And I had to critique this because the way I learned it, it was it was too strong. But we need like a cup of almond flour. Okay. 
My kitchen is small, but I declare I'm gonna get a bigger kitchen. That's why I came to my mom's house because her kitchen is less congested and bigger than mine. A cup of almond flour, then we're gonna use an eighth of a cup of, of Parmesan because it's the one I have is very strong. Um I generally shred it myself or grate it myself, but since I have it, I'm just gonna use what I have, okay? An eighth of a cup of uh, an eighth of a cup of Parmesan. You gotta remember we got that cauliflower getting soft over there. Okay. You can just shake it around a little bit, make sure it's all mixed up. You can just stir it up, shake it around, whichever one you want to do. I put my hands in it, just shake it around. We're gonna put uh, a pinch of a pinch of garlic and a pinch of black pepper because I'm learning that the this almond flour it holds the flavor very well, and we don't want to overpower the zucchini on your first try. And I don't want mom to say that Desmond ain't cooking right, that Desmond to do something. I don't want to hear her say that. He's not going to say that. We're going to do a, a pinch. <laughs> let's do a pinch. Yeah, let's do a pinch of the garlic granular in there. And a pinch of black pepper. Now, when I do mine, I put cayenne pepper in it. But I like... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't like spice, so I'm not doing that. You don't have to fresh this. Okay. Garlic. Get that around. Set a pinch of pepper. Yeah, pinch. And it looks good. It's not really strong. It doesn't, it's not too strong. You check this. Check my uh, cauliflower one. I always check stuff. Even though I cook by smell, I just always want to make sure I'm not burning anything. And we want this cauliflower to be soft. So it's getting there. Okay. Yeah, the ice is getting there. Okay, so now we got our. I'm working it out. This little kitchen, Jesus. So you know, I need a bigger kitchen. <laughs> so, what you want to do, I have tongs. You can use your fingers. Just take some of these zucchini fries and put it in the um, almond flour mix that we just made. I mean, as you can get, and we're going to shake it around, get it coated, and we're going to put them in the, you may be able to get them all in there. I just, I just do. You don't have to, but I do. So I'll be trying to go to the next thing. Shake it all put up. all up in the flour, you mean? Yeah, you put it all in the flour. We're going to shake it all up. But we may be able to use these eggs for the shrimp. We'll see. I'm going to get the lid Wait, never mind. Keep my phone. I don't. I can't talk to nobody right now. So we're gonna shake it up in the flour, just like you did in the egg mix. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, it's tight like I need it too. And you know, for the next time, if you don't have a. Uh, Containers, you can always use a Ziploc bag. Oh, I have containers. I just have to get them together. <laughs> yeah. I'm For a person that doesn't cook, I have all kinds of stuff. But I just never cook. And that was one of my goals when I retired. I was going to start cooking. Well, you got it going on now. Do don't I? <laughs> I wanted to thank you for assisting me with. You sent me something for the camera, so I've been doing studies up on on cameras and how to uh, take videos. Give me one second. I think my feeling is going off. My my feeling is going off. So. Uh, but I want to thank you for that because it, it got me inquisitive on how to take good photos 
for my, my food items. Right. You take a look at your cauliflower and see what it's doing. You take a look at your cauliflower and see how it's going. Ooh, I got me a fork now. It's more tender than it was, but I still need it to be a little more soft than that. Okay. All right, so how's your zucchini looking? Is it coated very well? It's not coated the way I think it should look, but that's Did me. Did you take it around? It, yeah, but it's like chunky. Yeah, that's okay. That chunky gonna be good, girl, when it start getting brown up in that air fryer. You're gonna be like, boy, <laughs> you gonna do this. What was you doing last time? You were like, hmm. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the air fryer. We're gonna open that up. Can I use my, uh, Lord, you know I need you to do a miracle. I generally spray my air fryer down. It's up to you how you use your air fryer, but I spray it down with some fan spray. Okay. Olive oil spray or grapeseed oil, which, whichever one you use. And then you can just lay these in there, lay them around. I like the little chunks, yeah. How you doing, Coach? Doing good. I'm ready taking notes because I'm going to cook this on Monday. <laughs> Any questions, Coach? <laughs> no. It looks good. So we can almost get all of these in here, but I don't recommend putting them all in there. So we're going to cook this first batch. However many you can get. I still, well, we might be able to get them all in there. Yeah. How big is your fryer? Air fryer. Oh, okay. Okay. I guess I'm thinking it ought to look like flour flour on it. It's not, it's not, you got to remember we're eating healthy. <laughs> I'm always saying it because we got to keep that in our, the forefront of our mind that we're eating healthy. Yeah. Okay. Eating healthy. <laughs> yeah. Because we're eating healthy. We got to do things differently. The main thing is that we do it. And we do it consistently so the weight can continue to come off. Yes. Okay, good. All right. So once you get in the air fryer, let, let me know when you're ready. If I sent you a link, I want to make sure the time on this. Because I'll be, I just be throwing it around, you know. Okay, I'm going to put it in there. Let it air fry. Give me one second so I can, we can get the time and the time right. Okay, it's going to take it 20 minutes to cook. And, you know, other people use panko breadcrumbs, but we're not going to use the breadcrumbs. Let me get the time on it. Okay. Four hundred degrees for nine minutes. Let, let me tell you this right quick: that we're gonna spray them down with your spray, whatever spray you got. I, that's one thing I didn't think to do. Let's spray it down a little bit, not too much. Four hundred degrees for nine minutes. I think I cook mine longer than that. So we're gonna push start. Let's go back and look at this. Uh, did you get yours in the oven? Yes, I'm getting ready to hit start, I think. Well, it started by itself. <laughs> okay. You are too funny, girl. I just enjoy you. I like how God keeps bringing us back around to each other. You know? I do, too. I do, too. I don't, I don't take that lightly. I appreciate you. 
I appreciate. I think we're appreciating each other these days. You know, it's a good thing. Okay, it's a good connection. So we're done with the. Huh? We started nine minutes at four hundred. Now, next thing we're gonna do is pull out. The yeah, shrimp. it started itself. Okay, pull out the shrimp. While you're pulling out the shrimp, check check your cauliflower and tell me what it looks like. It's getting lushier. Okay. You have a potato potato masher? I sure do. Okay. So we're gonna get the shrimp out. I'm gonna do half of my bag because I can eat it today and I can eat some tomorrow if, if I want to. I don't need okay. a whole bag. You may need to do a whole bag for you and your mom, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so then you're gonna wanna do two cups of almond flour and uh, two times one eighth a cup of the Parmesan cheese so it didn't have enough to cover the shrimp, okay? Okay, so hang on, let me, so I don't need this, um, Almond flour from the uh, thing that, from the zucchini. Throw that away. We can use it. It's 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 okay. it's not cross contamination. Now we couldn't take it from the shrimp to the zucchini, but we can okay. take it from the zucchini to the shrimp, and then just add maybe one more egg because you're gonna have more. You're gonna have more uh, products to put in it, okay? So the shrimp that we have, Coach, because we already talked about it, it's already been deveined and shelled. So we don't have to really worry about that. So do I beat this egg up first and then put it in it? Yeah, yes. But is your shrimp thawing out? Uh-huh. It's pretty much thawed out. I when I bought it, I came when I bought it because I shopped the last minute. I left it out. Well, you ahead of me. Let's let's go and grab out this uh, uh -huh. okay. So you getting the, the batter ready to receive? Uh I just messed up. <laughs> I just poured it in my thing. What are you what are you saying? I got it. I'll do another one. Well, what are you doing? No, leave it. What are you doing? Slow down. Tell me what you do. Oh, I poured it in my flour. What? The egg. The egg. Okay, so it's yeah, not gonna work. You gotta start over, yeah. It's all right. That's how we learn. Okay. Give me a second. Don't beat yourself up. You're learning, right? Stop. Yes. I told you how much stuff I burnt up and messed up. You, you wouldn't even believe before I got to be a chef chef. Okay. I used to mess up so much stuff before I really got the knack of cooking. The, my very first thing I cooked, my mother taught me was chicken noodle soup, chicken noodle soup, and I burnt it to a crisp. Didn't know nothing about cooking. I know, I know you don't believe me, but I'm telling the truth. Still on the line? Still there? Yeah, I'm here. You still encouraged? Yes, I'm here. I'm, I'm not giving up. I'm never going to give up. All right. Okay. Egg is good. Egg is good. Let me re-measure my flour. And we're not in no rush. We just taking our time. It's no, so we're not in a rush. Okay. So am I putting Parmesan cheese in the flour? Two times one eight cups. Two times one eight cups. Okay. 
Because you put two cups of the almond flour, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We're making the same flour that we made. And you're going to put a, a pinch of your, a dash, but let me see. A tad, a tad doll of the garlic. <laughs> because we want the shrimp to have flavor, yeah? Yep. And a tad of the pepper. And I'm going to get, I got me a new product. I'm going to try this uh, orange pepper in mine. I just got it. So I'm going to try that. I, I didn't know I was going to have it today, but I just got to try I just got to try it in this to see how it turns out. Miss Kathy, uh -huh. soon as you can, go turn off that cauliflower. And we're going to strain it. We got time. We're going to strain it now or later? Soon as, uh, do you have room in your sink? Yes. Okay, let's go ahead and strain it so we can get ready to mash it up. Burn yourself. Bring your face away from the steam. Okay, you, did you get your potato masher? Uh huh. Okay, before we mash, before we mash everything together, we're going to put one tablespoon of butter, but I use, I can't believe it's not butter. We're going to put one tablespoon of the other stuff, uh, Philadelphia cream cheese, okay? One tablespoon of butter, hang on. I generally use, I can't believe it's not butter, but today I'm going to use can against uh, butter. One tablespoon of Philadelphia cream cheese. Put it in there. We're going to mash it up. Did your air fryer go off yet? No. Okay. All right. Just let me know when it does. It just did. Okay, we got we got a few seconds to finish out this mash we got going on. Are you are you mashing? No. <laughs> I still got to get my cream cheese in here. All right. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. So you just take it like this and just mash it around like that. Like you do mashed potatoes. The same way, yeah. I have made mashed potatoes. <laughs> this is a substitute for mashed potatoes. We're doing healthy subs in place of starch because we both had a surgery. 
So we can't go back to eating mashed potatoes. So we're doing healthy substitutes. You can mash carrots later on. You can mash uh, squash later on, the butternut squash. You can mash so many different things with this. Oh, it smells good. And uh, another day, I'll show you how to make the good gravy that you can put on top of this. See that, Coach? All right. I'm just going to spray it's my mine. Hand. Can you see mine? That's mine. Oh, it looks delicious. I can't. Mm -hmm. Can you it a little bit so I can see what you think about it? I don't know. You said taste it? Taste it and see what you think. Okay. <laughs> looks delicious. You are so precious. Look at her. She dancing already. <laughs> good. This is good. I, love mm. I, I love could it. just eat this. You can eat that. You can eat that as a meal by itself. But we got to have a good balance. Mom, you can buy we, this? We've learned how to have a balance. Okay, so now let's go back to the zucchini. I want okay. you to take a glance at that. This is mine. Okay, I'm letting my mom try my cauliflower. Okay, mom. Mom. Ooh, that's awesome. Very good. I'm impressed. Okay. What's what it supposed say? to look? What did mom she say? Said, Mom, mom, come back and say it again. I said, it's very good. I'm impressed. Okay, mom. Awesome. <laughs> okay, let's go to the zucchini sticks now. Let's check those out. And what you can do is get you a container and, you know, put the paper towel at the bottom so it doesn't, or you can leave it in the, you can leave it in the air fryer. It doesn't matter. Because now the next thing we're going to do is just, no, we got to take it out the air fryer because we're going to do the shrimp next. Okay. Yes. Uh, excuse me if I'm going too fast. I apologize. Nope. We're good. Ooh. Coach, if you could smell of it, if you could just, oh my, oh my. I want her to let mom try them. Okay. Let mom try one of these. Yeah, mom, come in and try the zucchini. <laughs> I let her sit down before I called her back in here. Oh, I'm sorry. How is she? <laughs> She's good. Wait a sec. Right here. Hang on. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear her say nothing. Uh oh. She hasn't tried it yet. I'm still. I'm getting ready to give her one. So we don't have, we don't have to put a top on it because we don't want it to get soggy. Just put, oh. put it in there and just set it somewhere on the side. If they good, if, good, good. Okay, mom. Thank you, mom. If they do get soggy, um, you can just put it back in there in the air fryer and bring it back up. Okay. How we doing? You okay? Uh huh. Let, I'm in, I'm a. Empty these crumbs out of here. Sound like you overeating something. You overeating too? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't my first trip to the rodeo. This ain't my first trip to. Let me see if there's any crumbs on your mouth. Uh uh, sit up up here. Let me look. Let okay, me no crumbs, just All sweat. Right. <laughs> okay. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is work on this shrimp. Okay. We're gonna put the shrimp in the egg uh, in the wash. We rinse them off, right? Yeah, I got mine. I'm sorry. Yeah, rinse them off. I apologize. <laughs> I'm not leaving you. They're in the water. Yeah. Honestly, I was thawing mine out while we were doing all that because I didn't thaw mine out. Uh, 
Just goes to show it doesn't take too long. Do you know how to butterfly shrimp? I have never cooked shrimp in my life. Okay. Did you get them deveined already? I've never cooked shrimp in my life. That's why. Yeah, but, they're deveined. Okay, let, let me show you this. So I want to show you how to butterfly shrimp. Okay. And that's when it looks like that's when it looks like it's fanning out. Uh-huh. Okay. Let me show you this the best way I can. So you take the shrimp, you always want to dry it off so you don't cut yourself. And you have a, a I use a like a little paring knife. And you know, the shrimp already has a little, cause they deveined it. So it's already uh -huh. like- Uh-huh, has that line. Take the knife, yeah, take the knife and run it through there, but not all the way through. And then there's your, your butterfly shrimp. Just don't take it all the way through. Then that's butterfly like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you can just put it in the egg wash. Now I'm going to season this egg wash with a little um, garlic, I guess. You want to season yours with egg, uh, garlic or something? What's your favorite seasoning? Anything. I don't, I don't, I don't care. I'm going to start getting you accustomed to tasting stuff so you can see how it tastes. So you know what you like, what you don't like. Okay, I'm going to put some garlic and a little pepper. Yes. Good. That way we're seasoning the meat and the breading. Okay? Okay. Seasoning the meat and the breading. Anytime you have a, a meat product, you always want to season the meat. Well, we're not putting it directly on the shrimp, but we put it in the egg wash. Okay. So like a pork chop or some chicken pieces, then we're going to season the chicken as well because you want it to hold the flavor in it. But shrimp okay. can be easily overpowered. And then again, as my caution is with this almond flour and cheese mixed together, I think sometimes it can be salty. Although our coach had a piece of my chicken that I made, she said it was fine. So I just want to use wisdom with you and you're cooking for your mom. So... Uh, next time you you could say, well, next time I'm gonna add this. I want to try this. On, you know, but this time I just want you to be able to eat it and it not be a problem. Okay. So all my shrimp is thawed out. Just stay quick. So I'm so glad it got thawed out because I didn't want to see that I was holding up the progress or anything. No, just let that be me. Oh, see. It's all good. We all right. So I'm putting all my shrimp in the bowl. And I'm going to wash this one because when it comes out, I don't have to have where to put it. I have to know where I'm going. I'm so meticulous. It's kind of crazy, you know. It's good. It's a good thing. But I like to know where I'm going. I try to stay clean. I eat clean. I try to stay clean. Okay. Okay, let me know where you at. I'm still slicing the um You don't have shrimp. to slice all of them. I'm just trying to show you how. Oh. Yeah, they well, could be. Okay, well, that's good. <laughs> all right, so putting put them the in the egg wash. Huh? You know, I always try to show you more than one way to do something. Okay. If we let the cauliflower get away from us, but next time I show you another way to do air fryer cauliflower, and then you're going to be like, oh, Desmond, you should have shown me this. The very first beginning, and you will eat it all up. <laughs> I, I wanted to tell you that next Friday I'll be out of town, so we have to schedule it another time. Okay. If you would yeah, like to have any more sessions with me. I thought you were going to not be here because I rem I heard you say you would be flying out Thursday. Yeah, I'm flying, out, I'm flying out Wednesday, actually, dog. Oh, Okay. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and shake up the shrimp in the egg wash. Okay. And you know, we have a nice balanced meal already because we have pepini, we have uh, mashed cauliflower, and we're going to have a little side salad to go with it. That's, that's a balanced meal. I mean, the, the coach is on the line. <laughs> 
Coach is on the line. Coach, coach is on the line. line. <laughs> In Africa, they say the coach is on the line. Now. Oh my goodness! She will accept <laughs> us if we don't have a balanced meal now. She will say there's no balance here. You no know balance here. All right. Uh, that was free. That was just free for me. <laughs> where you at, Miss Kathy? <laughs> Where you um, at? Where you at? You ready? Yes, I'm watching my tongue go. Hang on. Okay. I'm gonna kill me for using so much paper towel. I'm gonna have to buy her some more. I do the same thing. That's why I got two holders up. I use my paper towels. Okay, so my shrimp is in the egg wash. You're gonna start taking it, putting it in the flour. We're gonna do the same thing we did with the zucchini. We're gonna shake them up. And I think it may only take like four minutes to cook in the air fryer. It don't take shrimp long. That's why we did it last, right? Mm hmm Cook the longest thing first. Right. The short cooking time lasts. Yes. My meal for six o'clock is already being prepared right now. I'm excited. I ain't gonna have to worry about fixing nothing else. Well, I'm eating mine as soon as we get done. Yeah, I know you are. That's why you're over mom's house. <laughs> I really, I really enjoy cooking. It makes me happy. You know, it it's like it um uh, it soothes me, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, that's the way I am about knitting. Oh, you like to knit? Yeah. I like computers and I like cooking. Now, I love computers. I do like being on the computer and I like knitting. Now, my sister, Gerald, that girl likes to cook. That's her. That's her Does relaxation. Does she cook healthy? Um, Not yet. <laughs> but she will. Did you did you by chance get to order your lean green? No, I haven't ordered it. You said order it? Did you order a cookbook? Oh no, I didn't see a cookbook. Do you have a cookbook, sis Miss Sheena? Is there a cookbook? There's, a, there's a lean and green cookbook. Okay, because I know I don't have that conversion chart she had last week. I looked all mm -hmm. over for it, and I didn't see it. Okay, so we'll send that to you as well. I do have two books. I, did I get a cookbook? Yeah, in my those two order? books you need, but I got, it on, I got it on eight books. It was used. I just uh -huh. got on there and said Lean Green Cookbooks. Lean uh -huh. Green. I don't want to get bored, and I don't want to get our program. Okay. I just, I just did it on my own. She didn't tell me to order it. I just ordered uh -oh. it. We're not trying to put coach in a hot seat or nothing like that. Okay. Ooh, okay. So we're going to shake the shrimp up as well. I'm excited. Are you in the flour yet? Yeah, go ahead and put your shrimp in. Okay. I thought you was putting it in it's, the flour. It's in. Go ahead and shake I it up. I did. It's <laughs> oh, see, I'll be waiting on you. Okay, let's go ahead and get ready to put it in the air fryer. Are we gonna fry us? Uh, we're gonna spray it again. Yes, ma'am. You you're so correct. Yeah. I don't know how I like this because the flour is not sticking like I want, but it's on there enough. Um, there's another version of the shrimp that you can use mayonnaise, light mayonnaise, and it's, it's very good too. Chicken too. But we're going to get through this. I think if you grab it by the tail, it won't take all the flour off of it. So we're improvising. Okay. It'll be okay. And then you can always lay the flour on top of it.
We're gonna do the best. We I can. got medium strength. I think I should have got larger. I got the same size as you. What large gonna do? I don't know. Give me more shrimp. Um, Give me bigger shrimp. <laughs> thinking about sharing it. Yours is bigger than mine. They were medium. I don't know why I say that. I can't eat no more than what I can fit anyway. Yeah, our eyes are, I think sometimes our eyes are still bigger than our stomachs. But you're sharing with mom. You're just learning. You can always cook them again. You know, you're just learning the recipe. It's okay. You may think you're going to eat 12 shrimp, but you're not. You're probably going to only get four shrimp in. Yeah, I'm not going to eat 12. I'm pretty sure about that. But your, your mom may be able to, but we don't. We don't eat like that. Jen, you can't even get it all in like that. You think you want it. <laughs> I'm thinking that too and be like full in a hot second. Like, that don't make yes. sense. Yeah, that's me too. But I don't regret it that I, I don't I can't eat it all. You don't have to eat all of everything. So I think what we can do is try. In the, in the air fryer. Uh, let's spray it down on top before I forget. Spray the top of the shrimp. Oh, um, spray the top. I forgot. I generally don't do all this spraying. I just throw it in there, but it's to be nice and golden brown. Let's try the nine minutes. Let's try nine minutes at 400 and see how it turns out. Nine minutes at what? 400. Do you have any questions? Either one of you, you chef, I mean, coach. No, I don't have any questions. I'm taking on my notes and cook this meal. <laughs> I don't have any questions either. Are you sure? Yes. Study. I want to do a good job. Um, you are doing wonderful. And I did send you the recipe for the zucchini sticks to your okay. inbox so you'll have them. Okay. I think it is a keto recipe. I use keto. I use bariatric. I use lean green, uh, green lean, green, lean green, you know, the green <laughs> milk. Lean and green milk. Lean and green. Yeah. So that way we won't get bored. You know? Okay. So I see people who have the surgery and they're eating fried products. I'm like, we're not supposed to have that. We're not right. To have rice. We're not supposed to have. I'm corn. guilty. I'm guilty. But it'll make the weight start coming up on you. I I probably gained like ten pounds of my weight back. I kept it off pretty good, but um, I I never reached my um, weight goal that I wanted to have. So. That's where I am now. I'm going to be 175 pounds. <laughs> you need to lose 25? Uh, I want to be 175. No, I need to lose more than that. <laughs> I want to be 180. I want to be 185. I'm 204 right now. So we got a, a okay. nice walk to go to. And I got further to go than that, but I'm going to do it. We can be encouraged, encourage each other. So the reason yeah. why I wanted you to get a lean green recipe book that way, if you saw something in there you wanted to cook, we could do it together. I could look it up and be like, oh, let's add this. It may taste better. We take that out. Let's try this. Okay. Take that out. I'll have it by the time you get back. How long are you going to be gone? You coming to Indiana? Uh, in <laughs> April. I'll be there in April. In April. Um, I'll, be, in I'll, be gone, I'll be gone from the 15th until the 20th, I believe. Okay. Of February. And then in April, the week of the 21st, I'll be there in Indianapolis. So hopefully you'll be able to come up and holler at me. Yes. Love to. Be a good thing. We got about seven minutes. I'm excited to see how this shrimp turns out. Me too. <laughs> hot flash, dog. You having a hot flash? I celebrate my logo. Yeah. I'm excited about my logo for the eating, cleaning green. Yeah, that's beautiful. That really is. 
Yeah, I got to keep stay on top of that. So I, I want to get better and better and learn more uh, what I can. Uh, we have to have t-shirts made so that when we're in the cooking class, we have our t-shirts on. There you go. We're going to do it. Thank you for believing in me. <laughs> you know, That's a really good idea, Miss Kathy. I like it. <laughs> I'm so excited. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm excited too. I'm happy. I'm enjoying this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to look into that. Uh, what I really want to do is get it to where they can just go and order it instead of me ordering big batches and then running, putting it in the mail. I don't want to do that. I need a t-shirt app because I have like maybe eight different t-shirts. They can just go in there and pick what they want, say they want to order this, push it, and it comes to them. So I got to, if you know anything about that. I'll don't be some kind of drop ship thing like that, that you, they can just, you can, they can order your products and they just ship to them that's what i want yeah let me talk i uh, my aunt may know somebody um she, i got she so many t-shirt designs so many okay okay i'll find out something about that because generally i have to order like maybe 40 or more shirts and so much a shirt and then sell them in order to get the money back. And I, I don't want to go through that. Then I got to tote them around with me. You know, t-shirts, sweatshirts, hats. I just don't want to, I need a better way to get it done. I have a lot of ideas, but I need a better way. Yeah. Mm. That's starting to smell pretty good. Yeah, I think maybe we'll stop it at seven instead of nine. Okay. Because they're, they're not even, they're not even pink. Uh, let's open it up open it up and look at yours because they look done to me they're just not crispy uh, we could turn them over let's try to turn them over turn them over yeah they're, they're not they're not crispy on both sides one side is but the other side is soggy I'm glad I opened that up so we're going to we'll just do it together is that all right Okay. Yeah, let's just turn them over. We didn't have to turn the zucchini though. Some people do, some people don't. That's good. I opened it up. Then we'll let it cook the rest of the way on the on this side. That'll be the nine minutes, preferably. Okay. So it should be four minutes left. Ooh, smells good. I'm telling you, I gotta wait till six o'clock, darling. <laughs> well, I won't eat in front of you. No, you you can do. I'm stronger than oh, that. I did I'm a gonna eat. fast. <laughs> I did a forty day fast with no food, and I was cooking for people. I was a chef at the time. Didn't bother me. I like to see you taste stuff because you get the <laughs> get the dancing around. That's food. I love to eat. That's my happy place. <laughs> I enjoy it too. A few more minutes. I'm gonna get a plate to decorate. I like I like to really put shrimp. I think shrimp should go in baskets, but it doesn't have to all the time. The only thing that's missing is gravy for the uh, cauliflower, but not all the time do you have to have gravy, you know? No, I don't need gravy. You tickle me saying you don't know how to cook. <laughs> I don't, I, I can do like, you know, the stuff we grew up on, like fried chicken and I can do chicken in the air fryer and all that. I do that, but like, um, just not all the other making mashed cauliflowers. I never did that. It's just a healthy substitute from the stuff that's not good for us. 
I don't want to be repeating stuff to you that I know you already heard me say, but you got to get That's that in your mind. Bad. You know, healthy, healthy such too. Like in place of spaghetti, you can do zucchini spirals. And there are some palm hearts that they have like spaghetti. Uh, it's called palmini. Oh, okay. But you like spaghetti. I love spaghetti and meatballs. I love meatballs and gravy, but I can't have rice. Right. Have these, uh, they're just healthy substitutes. Uh, this What's is that? Like, uh, ziti, ziti style, but it's not, uh, it's not pasta. It's miracle noodle. Could be mushrooms, something like that. Okay. We gotta, we gotta look it all up. Since coach is on the line. I was just about to say for myself, what was that? What was the last thing it's you showed? 1% total carbs. It's ziti style. It says keto and uh, paleo friendly. It's plant based noodles. These are plant based noodles. Plant based, okay. You train them, you rinse them off, heat them up, or the gravy can get them hot and it's good. Same thing. You can add your choice of sauce on this. It's 20 calories. Serving size seventy five grams. Okay. Yeah, I love spaghetti too. Here's another miracle noodle. Uh, miracle noodle with like spaghetti sauce on it already. It's just a good substitute. It's just a good substitute. So where do you find that? Is is that at Kroger and Walmart? Walmart, Kroger, ShopRite. Well, I, I mean, uh, what is it? Not Menards. What, what's the one with the M? Myers. Myers, yeah. Thank you. Okay, shrimp is done. We're going to dress the plate. I, I feel like, what's his name? <laughs> we got to get your scale out. Uh, where your scale? Uh-uh. Gotta do right now. Do what now? Get your scale. Oh, okay. Mom can have her whatever she wants, but you gotta get your scale. You gotta do the right thing. I got it. I got it. So we got cauliflower from fresh. And so we doing the five and two, yeah? Yeah. So it is... 2.19 split in half, so it's 1.8 ounces. Okay, let me find something to put this in. 1.8 ounces. Okay, then we got uh, the zucchini from fresh. Kenny fresh 2.29. So that'll be 1.14. Okay, you're going faster than me. I haven't done my zucchini, my cauliflower yet. How much did you say? The cauliflower is 1.8 dog. <laughs> now you know how I feel when you left me. You took off and left me. <laughs> Okay. okay. 1.8. Yes. Now we're going to go to the zucchini because the zucchini is from raw with skin. 1.99. We got to half that. Wait a minute. 1.99. We'll just say one ounce. One ounce of zucchini. So, you know, you can zero your scale out. I hope you you know that. I don't want to be. I did. Okay. So, zero out the scale. Mm hmm And it's one ounce. Got it. That's three little strips. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's where that little cutter comes in handy because it makes you think you're getting more than what you're really getting. <laughs> and then the next thing is the shrimp. Let me get the book for that. See where it is. 
shrimp. Let's see. I see everything but shrimp. Let me see. Whoa, whoa. Oh, here it is. Seven ounces. So we get 3.5 ounces of shrimp because we're doing the five and two. So 3.5 ounces of shrimp. Zero it out again. And 3.5 ounces is what we need. And then we're going to put the other shrimp in there if you didn't cook it all already. One. Each one of my shrimps is a 0.5. And we get 3.5 ounces? You get three, yeah, 3.5. Woo! That's a nice amount of shrimp. It sure is. Got me kind of scared. What? Um, Why are you scared? You made me drop my I shrimp. don't know if I'm going to be able to eat all of this. You don't have and, to. Just put it and, on the plate. Okay. You don't have to eat it. Just put it on the plate because the goal is that we get it in. But if you can't get it in now, you can always eat it later for a snack. Oh, I sound like my coach. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> You're making like her proud. I sound like her. Oh, my God. I'm just going to go ahead and cook up all this shrimp anyways, although I know I'm not going to eat it, but I don't want it to go bad. Right. So we cooked it halfway, turned it, and cooked it the rest of the way. Right. I hope you enjoy it. Can you at least try it in front of me, though? I'm going to. Let me. I'm trying to get my shrimp out first. Okay. That's a lot of shrimp. No, you said it wasn't a lot. Touch your mom. Oh, it's so good. Sheena. Okay, here's my. I got a little plate. So here's my plate. I'm watching you. See it? Yes. I'm proud of you. You got a little plate this time. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, let me pray real quick because I'm going to have a bite. Okay. Amen. Amen. Mm. Mm. Shrimp is good. Oh. <laughs> hey. I, I, I didn't even know music. Look at her. <laughs> I'm so happy. I can cook shrimp now. Yes. Thank you. Where your mom? I want to see your mom taste. <laughs> Mommy. Yeah. Come and try the shrimp. Oh my God. <laughs> Have to cook the rest. Oh my way! Right mm, it's, it's so good. Mm. Oh, bring it on! Mm -mm. Girl, I appreciate you. I don't have to cook no more. Okay. Mm -mm. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Uh, I hope you like it. I do. I do. It's good. Great. You okay? So it's, I'm spoiled. So whenever there would be something I want to eat, I just go to the store and buy it and bring it to her, and she cook it for me. We got a cook for over. That's uh, over. <laughs> she yeah. said that's over. <laughs> here's here's my plate. Oh, that's oh. beautiful. <laughs> do you only have two strips of zucchini? Yeah, but mine's I probably cut it bigger than yours. It's okay. Okay, your shrimp is bigger than mine then because I've got a whole bunch more shrimp than you do. It's okay. As long as we're okay. the, the weight limit, it's still the same amount. Your plate right. looks good. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to, I'm decorating. I ain't trying, I'm decorating. I'm going to take a picture. Got to put some respect on there. I've enjoyed you guys. Enjoyed you. Thank you so much. You did an amazing, amazing job. Bravo to you and to you too, Kathy. You very, very good student. I was a student today too, so I can't wait to I, try to make mine. It's so <laughs> much fun. Anything I can do different, you guys, or better? 
No, um, just like I told you last time, just give me a heads up on all the pots I'm going to need so I don't have to hunt for them while we're in the class. That's all. That's your exercise, dog. But I, I will. I will do better. Mm -hmm. I, will. <laughs> I feel like it takes up too much time. It's okay. It give me time to do what I got to do. Yeah. But I will send the list. I'll send the equipment list. I'm going to put the rest of these shrimp on and then I'm going to sit down and eat. Yeah. Well, my coach is not really? here. I'm going to take photos of mine and um, I'm going to relax. Okay. I just want well, to thank I you. I love you. I love you too. I love you so much. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm very encouraged uh, to do this with other people. So I just want to get all the flowers out. And uh, I'm in prayer about it moving forward and just encouraging people to eat healthy because if it has flavor, they'll eat it. If it don't have flavor, they're not going to eat it. Oh, well, this, this definitely has flavor. It's very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, Coach. What's up, Coach? Coach, any, any closing words? I'm impressed and I can't wait to see, you know, you launch off and actually turn this into a, a, a business because it's definitely doable. A lot of people need your expertise and everything that you have to offer. And you got it. You got the five and one in your case, the, the, the five and two down pack with the measurements and everything. I'm super proud of you. Super proud of you. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, Kathy, you going to show us your mic? I, I did. Oh, okay. All right. Well, uh, y'all have a good evening. All right. Love you. Are you, you going to be too. one in the morning for prayer? Tomorrow is Saturday, doll. Oh, girl. I done lost count. I'm retired. I lose count of the days. That's okay. I lose track. Okay. Well, have a great weekend. Thank you for sharing your time with me as well. What? Thank you both. Thank both of you for sharing this time with me. Thank you both for being here. God bless. Kiss your mom for me. Okay. I love, her. <laughs> love you. Love you. Love you, mom. Love you too. All right. Bye bye. Have a good weekend. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye.